Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing the SNR Performance Strut Tower Brace and stiffening up the front end of this Mustang. I'm pretty excited. Got this thing for a steal of a deal. So to the gentleman that I bought this from on the Facebook Marketplace, thank you very much. Here it is. Here is the SNR Performance Strut Tower Brace for the Mustang GT EcoBoost and I believe the V6 as well, 2015 through 2022. What you're gonna get in the package here is obviously the Strut Tower Brace itself and you're gonna get a bag that's now empty. <laughs> Then you're gonna get a bag of hardware here, which it's gonna give you some spacers, as well as uh, different nuts and washers per your, your application. So depending on if your car has the uh, performance pack, if it's a performance pack car, you might have an extra brace. I'll talk about that later. If you don't and you're like me, I just have the standard Mustang EcoBoost uh, Premium, but no performance pack. Uh, we're gonna need to utilize more of these spacers here because I'm, I'm missing a brace on the driver's side. With that being said, guys, let's get straight into the install. I'm excited to see if this makes a difference or not. From what I've heard is that it's a pretty substantial difference uh, in the handling characteristics, especially, you know, obviously in the front end. So let's get straight into it. All right guys, so the first step in this process is just removing the battery cover here that's held down by these three kind of push locking pins here. Um, I'm gonna, I already took those out actually on mine, so mine will just pop off here. So we're gonna remove that. Then we gotta remove the cable here for the battery, the positive terminal using a 10 millimeter uh, socket and ratchet. So let's remove that. All right, we removed the cable. Then you're gonna wanna pull this little pin off here that's located on the top stud like that. And you're gonna give it a tug and pull that off. Careful not to break this. And then I'm just gonna lay that off to the side. And we're gonna look at these bolts here. I should say nuts. These nuts here. Nuts. All right, four 15 millimeter nuts coming off right now. Those are all loosened up. I'm gonna just remove these real quick. And then we'll go on to the other side and I'll explain something right there. Almost lost that one. <laughs> Close call. So now we're on the driver's side and you might notice on this car is that there is only two nuts here that we'll need to remove. Uh, you also have two more studs here that the strut tower brace is going to utilize. Now if you have a performance pack, either GT or EcoBoost here, you will have another uh, chassis brace that connects to this, uh, these two painted studs and you'll have two more nuts on here that you'll have to remove. So just so you know, if you don't have a performance pack, you don't gotta worry about anything, don't freak out. <laughs> so I'm gonna remove those two nuts real quick and then it's time to install this sucker. All right, now that that is done, uh, I wanna show you one more thing. And that is what American Muscle includes here. So they include some spacers. Now we might not use all of these, but these spacers are gonna go onto the studs that we didn't have the chassis brace connected to. So what I mean by that is this. Is because we don't have the chassis brace over here, if we put on the brace just as it sits, it's not gonna sit level. So I got all these in my hand. It's not gonna sit level. So we have to go around and we're gonna use all six spacers that's included with this um, strut tower brace. We're gonna put them on all four studs here. So it's a nice even mounting surface. I got two left. So let's go over to the passenger side here. And since we have this brace over here, we're just gonna put these on these two studs here. So it's a nice, even and level mounting position. Pretty easy. Now that the spacers are in, pretty much we can mock this up. I'm gonna lay the um, strut tower brace down onto its final position there. And uh, I'm curious with how much room we're actually gonna have over the engine cover. Obviously, I wanna be able to get that off and uh, you know, oil changes, spark plugs, whatever. I don't wanna have to be removing this brace. I don't think I'll need to, but 
I'm gonna look at that for you guys and uh, we'll, we'll make sure we address that before the end of the video. By the way, if you're new here, please subscribe. Love you, thanks, bye. Oh, here we go. So I'm gonna start on the passenger side just so it's a little easier. We'll mock it up, lay it down, and uh, bolt this sucker in. Something to note here, you're gonna have to make sure you lift the cable up over the, the strut bar so you can attach it again once you're done. But uh, here we are, guys, look at this. We have it all mocked up. It's a level kind of mounting position and that looks good. You can see the clearance. I mean, there's not much of it, but there's probably just enough to get this cover loosened up, popped up and moved out. I'm gonna have to mess with that and see, but ooh, it looks good. God, I love installing new parts, especially ones that are pretty inexpensive like this. And uh, I'm excited to see how it handles. Well guys, we're pretty much to the end here, but uh, American Muscle does give you new hardware in the kit as well. So let me go over that because there's two different styles of hardware that you're gonna have to use and you don't want to install it in the wrong spot. So you get an M10 by 1.5 and an M10 by 1.25. You're gonna want your 1.5 nuts here on the painted studs and the 1.25 on the non-painted studs. Just like that. They're all mocked up, both sides. And um, there's like a little adjustability here, it looks like, from side to side here. So I'm gonna mess with that. But then I'm gonna tighten them all down. And uh, it's 35 foot-pounds of torque that will torque these two. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll obviously reconnect the uh, battery connector as well. So let me do that. And we'll go take this thing for a drive. I'm excited. I wanna see how uh, much different the handling is up front in the corners. And considering we're on the stock 18 wheels, this is gonna be kind of a cool mod if it does help out. Um, for like a hundred bucks, not a bad deal. If you guys wanna get this and you wanna buy new, I will link it in the video description of where you can buy it. That's gonna be American Muscle, so, you know, buy it there, I guess. Not sponsored, but I would be, like if you want to sponsor me, American Muscle, you know, just hit me up. Subscribe, Daily Driven, right there. Anyways, I gotta go. Okay, bolts are snugged up, and uh, now it's time to torque them down. 35 foot-pounds all the way around is what I read. Here we go, we got our torque wrench. <laughs> way overkill, 35 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna have to be careful. Set it, it's all electric, 35, crank it up, and uh, it's done. Oh yeah, I should probably back it off a little. I'm at 141 foot-pounds because of the wheels. So uh, yeah, let's go down to 35, 37, 35.5, 35, done. All right, we're all torqued up. Battery cable's back installed and just gotta throw on the actual battery cover and we are good to go. But guys, it looks pretty awesome. Sorry, it's getting a little late. I'm doing this after work. But uh, yeah, look at that. I gotta get you guys some shots during the day of what this thing looks like, because it, it does look good. But the true test is how does it perform? Uh, because that's why you're installing something like this, is for better handling. So let's go for a ride and we'll see how it does. All right, guys, we are in the car, freshly installed the SNR Performance Strut Tower Brace. And we're gonna test it out. I'm excited here, guys. I'm hitting some of the uh, awesome back roads we have here in North Georgia, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if this makes any difference whatsoever. Let me let you in on something. I've already noticed a difference. Yeah, I got the car in track mode right now. We're gonna get on a little bit. All right, coming up to a turn right now. And let's see how it does. Braking. Wow. It is so much more direct. Wow, even on the stock 18 inch wheels with these like 235 tires, I believe. This is doing so much better, actually. Wow. Honestly, it just feels much.
much more directional. It feels easier to to control in a sense. And I thought it would make somewhat of a difference, but this is making, this is actually pretty good. I mean, I picked this thing up for 60 bucks on the marketplace, Facebook marketplace, and that is an awesome deal. So thanks again to the gentleman who I bought this from. Thanks for cutting me a great deal on that. But for a hundred dollars on American Muscle, this is a pretty dang good use of a hundred dollars. We gotta try that again. So I do have the car in track mode right now, which limits traction control a little bit, stiffens up the steering automatically here, and obviously you get the quicker shifts, more direct power here, but we're coming in to some uh, tighter turns here again, and uh, we gotta test this out again. All right, here we go. We're going into a turn now. This one's a pretty tight one. just feels so much more direct. Wow, here we go. There we are. Another turn. Up the hill. And here we go into another tight turn right now. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Guys, I'm impressed. I feel like this is gonna make me drive a little quicker in the turns, for sure. I definitely feel like the car is much more planted. I'm happy with it, guys. If you guys don't have a strut tarp race, it doesn't even have to be this one, I'm sure. I mean, all of them really do the same thing. This one is just a little bit more cost effective, it seems, but if you guys like a different one, go pick yourself up one of these. This actually, this handles much better than if you don't. If you guys have the performance pack version of the car too, I'm sure that this would even be a you know greater option for you because one, you're gonna have that other chassis brace connected there and everything. That's pretty cool. I'm impressed. Well guys, like I said, I think this is a really worthwhile mod for pretty cheap to do to your Mustang if you want to gain a little bit of performance out of it. I, I was surprised at actually how much this improved the car's handling from my novice point of view. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you liked it, make sure to like it. I upload at least once a week. Hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day. We'll catch you next time. Bye. You got me down in my first